S G M O. Hey, I'm Sam Gabbert. We're here at SG Ammo today to test fire some Winchester 223 Remington and 5.56 ammo. We have Winchester W223K, 55 grain FMJ. They rate that at 3,240 feet per second. We also have WM193K, which is a 55 grain M193 spec load at 3,180 feet per second. We've already loaded 10 rounds into our magazines on our two test rifles over here. We have a 20 inch AR-15 and a 16 inch. And we'll run the 223 first to see if it achieves the higher velocity rating or if they're about the same or if you know, maybe the 193 is faster. So we'll uh, run this one first. And this is 223 Remington. I will shout out the velocity readings as I see them. Thirty-one nineteen. Three thousand sixty-five. Three thousand ninety. Three thousand seventy-seven. Three thousand ninety-six. And that's it. We'll do the sixteen-inch barrel. Twenty-nine forty-eight. Twenty-nine forty-seven. Twenty-eight sixty-three. Twenty-nine sixteen. Twenty-nine twenty. We'll do M one ninety-three fifty-five green five five six next. All right, now it's time to test five point five six Winchester number WM one ninety-three K, and we just ran the two two three fifty-five green FMJ. So we'll see if we get better or worse velocity out of the 5.6. 2932. So that concludes our test today of Winchester 223 Remington W223K and 5.56 M193 WM193K. We ran it through a 20 inch barrel and a 16 inch barrel AR15. Although the 223 Remington is rated at 3240 feet per second, the M193 556 at uh 3180, we actually got higher velocity out of the M193. So one of the things about advertised velocities is you can never really trust them. The factory can manipulate the test however they want to achieve the number they print on the box. The test isn't standardized, therefore the rating can't be trusted. In this case, although it's rated lower, the M193 produced a higher velocity. So most likely they tested this uh, 223 in a longer barrel or different apparatus that produced a higher velocity to get their advertised number. So keep that in mind when you're buying ammunition that the velocity numbers don't necessarily mean as much as they look like they mean because the test isn't standardized and you often get real world results that are different. We hope you enjoyed our video. We're gonna publish some uh, chronograph numbers in the video so you can look at those. But the M193 556 did achieve a higher velocity than the 223 Remington. So there's one other thing we wanted to add. The SKU numbers of the products we tested today were W223K, they don't put the K on the box, but that's what it is. And WM193K, they don't put the K there, but that's what it is. These SKUs are just packaging variations. So any Winchester Lake City 
223 is the same ammo, whether it's W223-1000, W223-200, W223-150, it's the same ammo. The difference is just the packing configuration, whether it's a 20 round box or a 150 round box or 200 round box or a thousand rounds loose in a bag. Same goes for WM193. WM193K comes in a 20 round box. WM193-1000 comes in a thousand round bolt pack. WM193-500 comes in a 500 round box, two boxes in a case and so on and so forth. There's other packaging variations so this test here today could apply to any of those packaging variations. So we may use this video on other products. And you say, well, that's not exactly the same thing, but the difference is simply packaging. So we want you to keep them, that in mind if you see this video posted to products that are seem similar, but maybe a little different. It's all about packaging when it comes to the Winchester part number. The ammo itself is the same thing. Thank you.